Today we're gonna see some bombs. We've got three of the most popular releases here in 2022, the TaylorMade Stealth, the Callaway Rogue ST Max, and the Titleist TSR2. We're gonna bring Thomas in, see what all the TrackMan data tells us about these explosive drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Danny Farrell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing here in Minnetonka. You will see Thomas Campbell here shortly, but for the test today, we wanted to introduce it here and go through these drivers, DD, because these, while you've been fitting Stealth and Rogue ST Max all year long, so I need your opinion on that, and then we'll also talk a little bit about TSR2 as well. Absolutely, I mean, the anticipation's building, but yeah. only hearing that Thomas Campbell's gonna be here today, but right. guys, we got a new launch, something new to the channel. You'll see more content with this, the TSR family. If you haven't checked out the other videos already, definitely give those a look. We're on course, off course. It, today we're in the bay, but, through the whole line with TSR so far, some explosive results. Mm -hmm. So we also went back, looked at a couple of previous generation cl club heads as well, both Callaway, Ping, uh, Taylor made as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're in one of those drivers and looking for a little more distance, we've done some videos where TSR definitely improves that. So a lot of good stuff going on. Um, TSI family from last year was phenomenal. Yeah. Comparing you know, Rogue and Stealth as well. So I'm very interested to see where the TSR fits. Yeah. I think the shape is quite a bit different. So right. I'm looking for Thomas's feedback on that. And also the sound is gonna be different than right. last year too. Yeah, so. for sure. So let's kind of, let's talk a little bit about Stealth and Rogue ST Max too. So yeah. you've been fitting those all year, right? So the, yeah. the TSR late 2020 release, or 2022, excuse me. Yep. But you know, Stealth and Rogue ST were early in the year. So mm -hmm. you've been fitting those all year. Maybe talk about some differences you've seen in those two so far. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of difference. Um, first and foremost, a lot of sound has been muted. You know, if you go, these three club heads, mm -hmm. for example, are gonna be some of the quieter ones out there. Um, Peng, for example, is gonna have more of a tone. Right. Uh, but visually for a lot of players, you know, the, the face of the club heads can't get much faster, right. right? So where are we going from here? More forgiving. So mm -hmm. you'll see some more club heads with more elongated backs on them to drag that CG location lower and further back for players. Yeah. You'll see improved weighting on all these as well for the miss hits as well. But I want to see how these stack up. Forgiveness versus forgiveness, yeah. shape versus shape, tech versus tech. Right. I want to get into this. So yeah. let's bring uh, Campbell in. I think so. Let's I think get it's work. time. So Tom, we'll bring Thomas in for the testing. We've got the same shaft, we've got the same club heads here in terms of the high MOI designs. Yeah. And uh, I think all that's left is to watch Thomas hit some bombs here. Game on, let's do it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Didn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't want to be ya. All right, so Thomas, that was 15 tee shots, five with each club, and I first wanted to just get your feedback on the look and feel of each driver. Uh, obviously, a lot of different characteristics between each of them. Um, you know, you got the, the matte finish with, well, I guess two of them. Uh, you've got a, what, a different shape here with the TSR2, so talk to me about the, the feel and the look of them. Yeah, so I guess talking about feel, a lot of it's gonna be to do with the golf shaft I'm yep. playing as well. So we were doing the Ventus TR, 6x blue golf shaft and all three heads the exact same shaft of 45 inches okay so we took that element out of play yeah um but feel wise and look wise there's some differences for yeah. sure uh, i will say starting with the rogue st max it felt like a little more draw bias club yeah to me. i had left all day with yeah. it though so if you're a golfer that maybe slices the ball a little bit it's going to help maybe draw the ball a little bit more possibly right uh then secondly i hit the uh the TSR2, mm -hmm. I felt like I had to strengthen my grip just to touch with it, because otherwise I feel like I was fighting a little bit more right with it. So it's more of a neutral ball flight, I feel like, rather than the, okay. the Rogue ST Max being a little more draw bias. Okay. No, wow, it went straight when I did it. And then we've got the, the Stealth. Yeah. Um, the Stealth, for me, when I've, when I've done testing and fitting and that is, 
spins it a little bit more than, than a couple other models. Very straight, which is, which is good. We can see those three really good shots with yeah. it. But right. I mean, looking at these numbers, it's, it's, kinda, it's pretty obvious that, that TSR is, it's, there's a couple of points there where right. it just was untouched. Right, exactly. And I think. it had the lowest club speed too. Right. Yeah. So I think, you know, we were talking, I was talking with Danny here, you know, throughout your, your shots, and I think you just pointed out that it's, it, uh, the club head is part of it. You know, with, you got a longer, elongated kind of club head with the, the Rogue ST Max, with the stealth, and the, the maybe more compact design might be launching that ball a little lower for the TSR2. Right, right. And, you know, we've got, gotten a look at the TSR2 a little bit, but. Going into kind of what Thomas talked about, the higher spin rate, the more stable flight. You know, think of the TaylorMade Stealth, the carbon face, right? Mm -hmm. It's lighter. Where's all that weight gonna go that they saved there? Lower and further back in the head. Right, so I knew that one would launch higher and spin more. Wouldn't be the, the king in the distance part right. with the more forgiving heads. Maybe in the plus version, which we'll be doing another video soon, so be sure to check that out, guys. But uh, going into the Callaway Rogue Max, that's one of my favorites to get the ball up for players. Yeah. I mean, the center of gravity is way back in there. Mm -hmm. a really lightweight head. That's just the max. And Thomas said that one goes a little more left right. one. They still have another head, the right. max D, to turn that even ball even more. more. Yeah, this, the speed cartridge back here really mm -hmm. brings the weight back. And then, yeah. like you said, the, the max D even brings it further. Now, with this one, he, uh, Thomas already some draw bias with the Rogue ST Max. Right. The max D could probably really turn that over for golfers struggling yeah. with a uh, slice. And I think we actually tested earlier in the year kind of the draw bias heads for the 2022 season early on. I think this one, the Rogue ST Max D, was the farthest, I guess, draw bias, yeah. more, farthest left on the dispersion map. So yeah. we noticed that, but um, I think it's time to go into these numbers now because sure. Thomas alluded to them a little bit. Um, I think, you know, club speed was pretty similar across, a little bit faster with Stealth, a little bit slower with TSR2. But with that said, the TSR2 is the highest ball speed. So I think that's one thing we for sure have to talk about. And then that kind of also obviously concludes on the, the, the smash factor, right? 148, 149, and 150 mm -hmm. with the TSR2. So just a little hotter uh, at yeah. impact there. Yeah, and these are, you know, I didn't touch on, these are all nine degree heads. Yeah. So these are all set at nine degrees, yeah. um, regardless of In what. neutral and everything. Yeah, in neutral know. setting, yeah. yeah, so. But yeah, you talk about that height that Danny brought up. We're talking 14 to 16 feet higher with the, with the Callaway. Yeah. Yeah. So that was interesting. And then you can see that the TSR2 was flying the lowest of right. the three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think a lot of that has to do with just the overall shape of the driver, right? Yeah. When you go back to the more elongated heads like the Max, like the Stealth, it's gonna go up. Yeah. But if you were to just put these three club heads in front of me, Rogue, Stealth, and TSR2, I would have picked TSR2 to be your winner just by looking at the footprint right. itself. Right. I think one of the things I was saying was that the TSR2 is almost like a TSR2.5 compared 5. to you know, their past releases, right? Because they've had a 2 and a 3 and a 4, and the 2 has been kind of the high MOI, fits the most golfers, but they've right. really made that compact shape you know, a little bit with this one. They've right. made it closer to the 3 of the past. And so it almost feels like there's a combination of the two and the three with this driver. Mm -hmm. So I think there's, there's, like you said, it's, that shape is really, I mean, launching it lower, but also that spin has dropped too, as we can see on the spin now, mm -hmm. lowest spin by a good margin there too. I, I like uh, TSR 2.5. I really yeah. like that because I mean, I've had to do a couple of double takes myself. I'm like, yeah. let's put this down. Like, this looks good. Mm -hmm. Looks like the TSI 3 in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember you were, war you were warming up and you were hitting some good balls and you looked at your club. This is the 2. <laughs> I thought it was a 3, you know. So, um, I can't wait to hit the 3. We heard the story <laughs> from Titleist about, I think it was yeah. Chesson Hadley maybe was the pro who um, mm -hmm. thought he was hitting a TSR 3 the whole time right. as he was, was you know, getting ready, but it was actually the 2 and he's got it in his bag now. So, um, and these numbers then too, so because of the spin, because of the ball speed, the TSR 2 was the furthest. Actually, average carry was over 300 yards for Thomas. Um, not that the other drivers were shabby by any means there. I mean, you're still a, well over 300 yards in total distance on average, but... It's um, eight yards further. Yeah, it is, it is. And that's, that's something that a golfer can maybe think about as they're looking for a new driver, potentially, is a compact design, maybe center gravity a little more forward. If you have the speed that Thomas does and that the kind of swing profile, something similar hitting up on the ball, that's where a compact driver head can be a big benefit um, like the TSR2 here. But I think all three of these drivers are really good in the MOI and consistency. Talk about, I mean, look how consistent the spin rate was on all of them, right? They're right. pretty similar throughout. Uh, and then we can bring up the Spurs here in a bit too and talk about you know, the tendencies there. But um, Thomas, any other numbers here jump out at you? I mean, I was definitely hitting it lower, um, but it's interesting that my face to path was the highest open with the TSR too. 
as well. Good point too. And yeah. I think we bring up the dispersion, we can see that it was flying straighter as the others so was fighting a little bit more left and maybe a little harder with the dispersion. Right. But yeah, so you can see it was definitely a lot straighter yeah. there with the TSR2. Mm -hmm. Got three really good ones with the Stealth, but they weren't quite, quite there. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then we had the Kelly Roll Max. We had four really good ones just left, mm -hmm. and then one that was a little bit spinnier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm. I'm very curious now. So we kind of. This is again what we think. Kind of. We also obviously Taylor made Callaway really popular in the drivers market, yes. um, and especially their high MOI designs every year are really popular. So we kind of took that against TSR2 here, and I think you're seeing the the, I guess the advantage and disadvantage, so to speak, of um, really getting into a lower, a more compact head. Mm -hmm. You get maybe more distance, more ball speed, but maybe. What do you guys think? I wanted to ask about the. If you were to maybe get a golfer in here that's not as advanced as Thomas, sure. someone that might miss the center a few more times, do you think the more compact head would be a punishment compared to the Rogue ST Max or the Stealth? I mean, it's still 460 cc. Right. I mean, it's just designed just slightly differently. And I mean, might want a different loft on the driver, might need a different golf shaft, right. but it's still 460 cc. It's yeah. still going to be very forgiving. Yeah. I, don't I, I would defer to the player yeah. at that aspect. You know, what visually gives you the most confidence? If a player says, hey, I like the Callaway Rogue Max, the best fits my eye really well, perfect. As a fitter, I'm not going to take that out of your hand at that point. Yeah. So it's all visually from there, and then kind of trying to match up the right launch conditions for that player. Right. But if they want to go into the two for the appeal, the shape, let's do it. Right, and I think that's, that's probably a reason why Titleist has went into that shape. A lot mm -hmm. of players are trying to maybe condense what they look at off the tee a little bit, and so that's what TSR with the two here has done. But I think that's a pretty darn good test here, all things considered. We kind of went into each of the most popular releases probably of the year here. Um, and TSR2, in terms of just distance, seems to be the winner in this test. So um, I think without further ado, golfers, if you're going to get fit for a new driver, one of these three options, second swing's a place to go. Schedule your fitting online. And you can stop into a store and consult with one of these two or any of our other uh, award-winning master fitters on our staff. We'll get you set up with hitting longer, straighter tee shots, lowering your scores. And then lastly, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think about these drivers. And if you have one in the bag, let us know how it's performing for you. So Thomas, thanks for doing all the testing today, breaking down the data. Danny, thanks for joining as well. We'll see you next time on the channel.